Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string? The select string node. Let's go ahead and fire up our quick example. It's going to make no sense, but basically we have the word bark. So what is our select string node? Well, this one's pretty simple. Basically, the select string is found under utilities string, and it comes in looking like this. It's going to take in a string value A, string value B, and then a Boolean, and it's going to return back whatever the Boolean tells it to. So in our example here, I have an animal, cat, and a sound bark. Select string is going to take them. It's going to do my Boolean. The Boolean is basically if it picks A or not. If this is checked, A is going to be returned. If it's unchecked, B is going to be returned. We'll go ahead and pick A, and we hit play, and you find cat. We uncheck A, we hit play, we get bark. And that's it. That's all our select string, is, select string node is used for. So you can feed in two different strings. Let's say you have maybe two different randomized names, and then you could pick a random value and then go plus or minus, or maybe you want to format something such as, if we were to take an if statement, let's say a branch right here. Let's plug this in here. Um, actually, we would need to do 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 do. Let's do an equal here. Let's see if we can clean this up better. Let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, see, it's not going to work without this plugged in anything. Um, uh, string equals. Ah, bear with me. There we go. Okay, so we have string equals node here. And we hit play, and we have the word false. But if you notice, it's in lowercase. If we were to use something like a select string, and let's say we plug the output into here, so it's going to be, it's still going to give us the same result, true or false. But let's say in this case, our animal was the word true, um, let's go with true if, and then sound was falsy. We go ahead and plugged it in and we ran it, if we hooked it back up. Now, our false is going to say falsy with our capitalization. And our true, if, um, let's see, let's unplug that. Let's see if we can get true here. Will be true if. So it's a way of maybe formatting something like your Boolean so that we get back a little bit of a customized true false statement. And it's got many other uses. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.